Now let's link all the routes to these navigation links here and let's make this title here dynamic. So the navigation we are looking for is sidebar navigation from the includes slash admin directory. And here we can see the first one, which is user dashboard. And we can see the name here for this route. So we are going to link that there. Now let's do the same for the author and the admin groups. Now let's go to the each view of these routes here and let's extend the master layout. Now you can see how this text here is changing as we are switching from page to page. But what we actually want is we want to highlight the active page that we are currently on. And to do that, I'm simply going to close all of these and we need to edit the sidebar navigation. To make this highlighted effect, all you need to do is you need to append this active class. So what we want to do is we want to check which route is currently active and then display this active class if needed.
So as you can see, once I go to the dashboard, it is highlighted. Now we want to do the same thing for all the other links in the navigation. Now let's go through all the links and make sure that they are working. That is because we have a typo here. And as you can see, we are good to go now. However, we only want to display this outer section if the user have permission to these links here. And we want to do the same for the admin. So let's do that now. I'm simply going to use if out user admin is equals to true. And here I want to check for the author. Since we are author and admin user, well, let's try to change that in the database and see if the section will disappear. First, I'm going to remove the outer permission. And as you can see, there's no outer navigation anymore here. And let's do the same for the admin. And as you can see, now we are being redirected as we tried to access the admin link. And as you can see, now we have only user group. Now, the last thing we want to do in this lesson is to make this title here dynamic. So we want to go to the layouts and admin layout where we can change this to yield title and give it default title of Laravel blog admin or Laravel blog dashboard since we also have users and authors here. And let's make this logo here also a link which will redirect us to the main page of our blog.